Disclaimer, this video is used with more red and pink undertones. Hello and welcome back all my fellow emos. I hope you're having a wonderful quarantine. And today I've come up with a video tutorial on how I draw skin. Very quick and very simple. You can alter it any way you want. First, I'm going to be starting out with this pale skin. I'm going to use this peachy pink. Tone that down a bit so it doesn't look like your character got skin burnt. I like to put a little blush around the bridge of the nose and on her cheeks. Now I'm going to start with the eyelid coloring and the shade that is with your eyelids. For a pale skin tone, I would use a kind of Sierra burnt orange, but not too dark. And then use multiply and turn it down a bit. So next I'm going to start with another brown color and start doing the neck shading. The neck shading is basically the same color, just maybe a bit lighter, kind of orange. Multiply that down so it looks like there's actual shading under the neck. You can add more shading and make it more detailed, but I'm just going to make this quick and easy. So then we're going to start off with the top shading. This one I use a different kind of shade of orange, more like a salmon kind of pink. Multiply that as well. And a little tip I used, if you don't like blending, you can always take the clear and airbrush that over. Gives it a good effect for the light. Now this is where your style and my style might differ with the noses. I'm drawing a little round nose for a lot of my characters. I think it's cute. I like to add some pink, draw a little dot in the middle of the actual skin tone. And I keep drawing with a lot of reds and pinks in my drawings to match with my pink kind of aesthetic. Make sure I could add some pink up there at the top. Just calm it down a bit so it doesn't look too much. And one thing that I like to do with my drawings for some reason is I like to add red right close, like, close to the eyes. Kind of like Zero Two if you've ever seen that anime. So always change. You could also airbrush and kind of blur this area too. Also, very good trick. For the shading that the hair creates, I also went with the more salmon color, blended it down, just adding a bit more shading around the cheeks just to fit my style, you don't need to do this, but just want to show you what I do whenever I create my drawings. Make sure the blush isn't too compact together. Also, hair coloring is going to be an entirely different video on its own, so right now I'm just going to focus on skin coloring. I'm adding hair color just to give you guys an idea of what it can look like with the hair somewhat colored. Now onto the tan skin tone. This is the one I have more practice with since it's around my skin tone. For this, you don't want to use pink like in the peach one. Change it up a bit. I would, I still use some pink up at the forehead, around the body, like around the face too. It's just I use a different kind of pink. I use the kind of a darker salmon kind of pink for tan skin tones. Add the blush like in the other drawing, add some of the eyelid shading. This one is more of a pinker burnt sierra. I have no idea what color it is, I'm going to act like I do. So for the nose, I wouldn't recommend just brown. Brown can get a little weird on the eyes whenever it's on the nose. I like making my noses a bit redder. Be very careful with how much shading you add on this nose because it can really change the shape of what you want the nose to be. So now I'm going 
gonna go in and keep working on the shading for the area. This one is hmm, it's very it's like a darker tan. I don't know what colors are. I am an artist of three years, yes. Hello. I don't know what colors are. So now I'm gonna go back in for the shading up at the top created by the hair. You can use the same trick as you used last time. You depending on how like dramatic you want the shade, you don't have to tone down the shade when you multiply it. I just like to do that to give it a bit more sense of realism, but harsh shadings can look very pretty too. Now with the under eye kind of pink, use a different darker pink so it doesn't look all crazy and in your face. Unless that's what you want, then go ahead, go for it. Okay, for darkest skin tones, I still use a bit of red, but I dial down the red a bit more than the other drawings. It's still fun to play around with the different kind of colors that these skin tones can have. I still put a bit of blush there, but still tone it down a bit more, unless I'm going for a kind of exaggerated blush, like the character's actually flustered. But this is just a normal blush. We're also going to go with the kind of nose shading. I don't really use a lot of multiply on these kind of skin tones because it makes the shading look a bit black, like actually the color black, and I am not about that life. So I'm going to go in with the next shading of a very dark kind of brown, but also with some red hints to it. Use the airbrush kind of tool. Yeah, don't use multiplying. That's not fun. Next, I'm gonna go with the hair color up at the top. I'm gonna use basically the same color, but just a bit more red. I'm going to blend that one out with the airbrush. Add a bit more blush around the face. Then I'm gonna go in with the red little areas around the eyes. I'm gonna go with a very dark kind of red just to bring out the eyes a bit more on the drawings. And a little tiny smidge more blush, because it's cute. Next is going to be the eyelid shading. I'm going to use a darker red kind of color with these eyelids. Trust me, I know how colors work. I am an artist. Yes, hello. How are you? And I think we're done. If you want to change up anything in the style, or if you want to match your style more, be free to. And I hope all of you emos are having a wonderful time in quarantine. I know I am. Now, if you guys want to see a hair tutorial, comment down below and I'll try and think of what hair tutorial I want to do. I have many styles of drawing hair. I, I really need to just choose one. So with that, I hope all of you fellow emos are having a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!